Hi, I'm John Bohr, founder and head coach of Core Athletic Training. Today we're going to be working on running form. Proper running form helps you improve your speed and prevents injury. Improving your speed helps you blow by your opponent in track, get open for a pass in football, or beat out a ground ball in softball. Today, we'll start with some warm-ups. Then we'll teach you how to find your proper running form. With that being said, let's get rocking. To begin, let's get our bodies warmed up. Warm-ups are an important part of sports and athletics because they prepare our body for heavy exercise and movement. A warm-up does not need to be long. It should break a light sweat, get your heart pumping, and last three to five minutes. To start, I will warm up with an agility ladder. Don't worry if you don't have an agility ladder. You can easily create one with tape or chalk. Simply draw two long parallel lines, then connect the lines to form at least 10 boxes. Before we use our ladder, let's warm up by marching in place. Be sure your body's relaxed and that you're landing softly on the balls of your feet, not the middle of your foot or your heels. Doing these things will improve speed, reduce extra pressure on your ankles, and prevent injuries. Now, let's learn how to properly swing our arms and our shoulders. When in sync, we call this pumping. This will help our bodies to move quickly in a fluid motion. Start by bending your arm slightly. Then, Swing your arm down and pretend as if you're putting a quarter in your pocket. As you swing your arm down, your opposite arm should raise. Be sure that your elbows are close to your body and that your arms are relaxed. You can open your fists to cut through the air and reduce muscle tension. Now, let's put it all together. Think you got it? Awesome. Let's apply these principles using our ladder. Take your time and work hard to master pumping. It is pivotal to get into rhythm keeping pace, and maximizing energy expenditure while running. We're gonna start by running through the ladder and placing one foot in each box. As you run through the ladder, practice pumping your arms and not touching the line. All right. Now let's run through the ladder, placing two feet in each box. This will challenge you to lift up your feet quicker and pump your arms even faster. Now, we're gonna incorporate high knees. You'll need to bring your knees to your waist on each step and run through the ladder. Remember to keep your chest tall and your head facing forward. Good job. Now we're gonna do the same exercise, but with both feet. Pumping your arms during this drill will help you to find a rhythm. Feeling warmed up? I am. Let's move on. 
An agility ladder is not only a great way to warm up and practice your running form, but it's also one of the best ways to improve your overall agility and athleticism, regardless of the sport that you play. Now that we've gotten warmed up, let's go over proper running form. Let's start off with the drill we like to call pawbacks. This drill helps you to stay on the balls of your feet and make strong contact with the ground, which will push your body forward. Simply walk forward and lift your leg into a high knee position. When your leg is fully extended, pull the ball of your foot, notch your heel to the ground and push it back, creating a paw back action. When done correctly, it should feel as if your foot is grabbing the ground and propelling you forward into your next movement. Now we will work on B skips. This will replicate the movement of running by using your back leg as a springboard. When you lift your knee to your waist, add a skip to your back leg. When you lower your raised leg to the ground, perform a paw back. When done properly, you will feel your body spring forward into your next skip. Be sure you're comfortable with your paw backs before starting the drill. Now, let's go over body positioning while you run. When you start your run, you should start low to prevent any extra resistance from the wind. Then, slowly raise your chest and your head as you gain speed. This next drill, Falling Starts, will focus on the start of your run and establishing proper body positioning. Stand at the end of your running space with both feet shoulder width apart. Now, carefully and slowly begin leaning forward. Once your body is about to lose balance and fall, explode forward, lean with your hips, and begin your sprint. When done correctly, you should feel catapulted into your run. When running, don't forget to pump your arms and implement your paw backs into your technique. By learning to correctly pump your arms, incorporate paw backs, and correctly position your chest and head, you will improve your running form and take your speed to the next level. Thanks for joining us at Core Athletic Training today. We hope you had fun, improved your running form, and got even faster. If you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive the latest news and updates. Questions, comments, game variations? Leave them below. We look forward to hearing from you.